I'm Mario Ritter with the VOA Special English Technology Report. A shortwave radio might seem like ancient technology these days, but for some people it remains their only link to the wider world. Ears to Our World is an organization based in the United States. It provides shortwave radios to schools and communities in some of the poorest areas of the world. The radio is small, about the size of a book, and self-powered. Users turn a crank. Winding it for two minutes provides about 40 minutes of listening time. Ears to Our World is supported by private donations and partners including Eton, the company that makes the Eton Grundig radios. Thomas Witherspoon started Ears to Our World in 2008. He said, our radios are going to people who have no other source of international news and information. It's hard for them to learn new languages and be connected to the bigger world. He said teachers use this information in the classroom to help students learn about the world around them. Ears to Our World works with local organizations to get the radios to where they are needed most. Mr. Witherspoon says the radios are now in 11 communities, most of them in Africa. He says many of these communities are unable to get information any other way. He takes the radios to parts of the world that lack access to the Internet or to a national power grid of any kind. These include communities and villages in South Sudan, where people do not have power in their homes. Thomas Witherspoon says information is the most important tool to improve the lives of poor people. The self-powered radios are also useful in emergencies. Teachers in Haiti use them to get information after last year's earthquake. Mr. Witherspoon says Ears to Our World has sent out about 1,200 radios. More than half have gone to earthquake victims, mostly in Haiti. About 500 have gone to individual teachers and schools. More recently, Ears to Our World worked to bring the radios to children with vision problems in Belize. He said having a radio that they can control and listen to and search around on, it just opens a world of information to them. For VOA Special English, I'm Mario Ritter. You can read and listen to all of our reports at voaspecialenglish.com. You can also join us on Facebook at VOA Learning English.